You know, bacteria and chemicals found in contaminated water from the Tijuana River end up on our beaches, but now we are learning that they also end up in the air we breathe. That's according to a new study from UC San Diego released today. CBS 8's Rocio de la Fe looks into what scientists found and the possible implications it can have on our health. The first of its kind study focuses on the ongoing issues of contaminated waters from the Tijuana River and takes it a step further to see its impact in the air. What researchers found only adds to the growing concerns for people living along our coastlines. Researchers at UC San Diego have identified a new source of major pollution, coastal waters. New research shows the sewage contaminated waters transfer to the atmosphere in what's known as sea spray aerosol, which is formed by breaking waves and bursting bubbles. The sea spray aerosol contains bacteria, viruses, and chemicals. Once pollutants become airborne, that just means that so many more people can be exposed to those pollutants. It just extends well beyond people just going to the beach or getting in the water. The team conducted the study by sampling coastal aerosols at Imperial Beach and water from the Tijuana River between January and May of 2019. Researchers used DNA sequencing and mass spectrometry to identify the microbes. I think it was just a complete shock to find how much of the microbes in the air were traceable directly back to sewage. The team is now hoping to find out whether the bacteria and chemicals can be infectious and what the implications to human health are when inhaled. We are going to start swabbing the lifeguards and the surfer, some of the surfers and families down there to sort of, you can see it in the air, but what is physically getting into people? Additionally, the team will look at not only the air outside, but inside. They plan on putting samplers and doors to test for bacteria and chemicals. That's the next big sort of step from a from a health perspective. Although more research is needed to find out how far pollutants travel, researchers say it's likely that air currents can carry sea spray for miles further inland. The further it goes, the more dilute it becomes because there's also there's human health. There's also agriculture health. So these are things that we are going to be addressing with these further studies. The team says the current findings justify the need to prioritize cleaning up coastal waters and stopping the flow of sewage from the Tijuana River. We have an infrastructure problem um, that's causing not only um, polluted water, but here this research demonstrates that people in coastal communities like Imperial Beach are exposed to coastal water pollution even without entering that water. Garcia de la Fe, CBS 8. That's very interesting and good to know. More consequences from a, a problem that's way overdue mm. to be fixed. Yeah, we'll see what happens there.